On July 8, 2009, Dave Meachnight captured and Rita collared an adult male wolf near Eureka on Yellowstone Island, Nunavut, Canada. The wolf was with four other wolves and was dominant over at least two of them. Yeah, I'm almost certain that's just to the left of uh, Brutus's right hind foot. Looks like the, the whole penis sheath. Yeah, see him, see that? Okay. That's the standing over stuff right there. They check each other's out, out their reproductive status out, I think, to see what's going on. The collared wolf had recovered from the immobilization normally and was indifferent to the collar. At 2120 hours, about two hours after we determined that the collared wolf was fully recovered and able to walk normally, he stood over a pack meet which we determined to be a male and he pinned it about 50 meters from us. During the next six and a half minutes, the collared wolf, with tail vertical, stood over, pinned, or held the other wolf down, or by straddling or riding up on it, forced it down for almost all of the remaining time. This was the longest period of this type of interaction we observed in almost eight hours of watching this pack that day. It was one of several times we saw this collared wolf behave similarly, including just before we darted him to put the collar on. Dominant wolves are usually the adult parents of the pack, commonly dominant offspring by forcing them to the ground. Such behavior generally only lasts less than 30 seconds. The subjugated wolf then jumps up and then domination ends. During this extended behavior that we videotaped, each time the subjugated wolf tried to rise, you'll see the dominant animal force it back down.
We believe this behavior of the clawed wolf represents domination on the part of a parent wolf towards a maturing offspring that will eventually lead to the dispersal of that offspring. Although predispersal harassment of this length and intensity within a pack has not been documented before, frequent chasing of individual wolves attempting to remain, follow, or join wolf packs is not uncommon, and actual fights between parent and same-sex offspring in captivity have been reported. These observations suggest that adult wolves sometimes harass maturing offspring until they leave the pack and disperse.